Just got to keep you on your toes there. Some of you are getting a little bit too comfortable. I need to remind you where we all began. A Mogus Fard remix. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT, and I am... Doing well. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. In case any of you missed it last night, I did upload that 10-minute testing I was I was talking about. I oh. did upload that 10-minute testing I was talking about. I uploaded it at 1.30 in the morning. I'm getting older, chat. This is what's happening. I, I'm, I'm just getting older. Back in the day, I could crank out a video starting recording at midnight like it was fucking nothing. Danny knows when he lived with me, occasionally I would be up till four recording. Sometimes I would just um, record and then I'd, I'd call it because I was too, like, delusional. Uh, what's the right word? My mind was deteriorating. I was I, I wasn't able to finish it just because I couldn't do the sentences fast enough. And so I'd go to bed and I'd wake up at like 5 a.m. and just crank the rest of it out. In fact, in some of the old 10-minute uh, testings, you can hear me talking normal in the um, the deck breakdown. And then we go to Delirious. Thank you. Then we go to the um, uh, games and it's like... <sighs> I the first game was all good. Like, it's clearly a different day. Uh. Oof. I turned 30 today. Congratulations. Happy birthday. The big 3 0. -oh. I don't know. And I was so close to resetting my sleep schedule, too. I feel like I was almost there. I still did okay today. I woke up at 9. I was just very tired. We need more uh, Ace Attorney streams. Oh. Mm hmm. Real talk, why do we only play one Dodo -do glove? You can play you can play fucking two Dodo -do glove. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm not a cop. Hey, you play on ever many Dodo -do glove you think is right for you. I'm just gonna be honest with you about automat ratios. They don't matter. As long as you're playing three Zubaba Bancho, Gaga -ga Coat, you can play whatever you want. You can play Go 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 Giant. I can't I can't stop you. It's fine. Access code Taco, thank you for the prime. Mark. A hey, ten months. Ramai the spell. I believe actually your name should be Rime the Magic. I blame the absolute brain rot in playing both Brave and Lich in the same deck for that. <laughs> Why? There's nothing wrong with that. They don't conflict. Uh, okay. Before we do anything else, I have to talk about fucking Dark spell Spellion. So, <laughs> and I can't take credit for finding this. Luna posted this in the mod chat. But Master Duel, last night, released new content and by that i mean a new story at the gate first off squeaky fucking wheel gets the grease the day after all the yugi tubers make a video that's like master duel is dying master duel releases new content we have figured out what the content release schedule is for master duel and it's whenever the yugi tubers get mad second <laughs> Master Duel errata the old Yu-Gi-Oh cards that say magic. As you know, uh, the first three sets of Yu-Gi-Oh spell cards are called magic cards, which had to be changed because there's a card game called magic. So magic cards could refer to that. Um, they changed to spell cards, and that's responsible for spell ruler. Uh, but some of the old stuff hasn't gotten any reprints, and so it did say magic cards on it. They fixed that by hitting find, replace, and changing every instance of magic to spell this was a bad fucking idea because now in the tooltip for one of these new story mode things we can see that we will have to play a deck based around the dark spellion cards uh maybe you can use the banishing effect of dark spell circle it's just amazing just one of the greatest of all time and I was shocked to see in the comments, this is not the first time that this exact thing has happened. Let's see if I can find it. Boom. <laughs> this card is used to summon Spellion of Black Chaos. Uh, of course, this is not a, an issue that is unique to Yu-Gi-Oh! Here's when it happened in Magic the Gathering Online. Uh, very old program. Uh, 
you used to be able to change all color words to another color. Uh, I think this is, what's the name of this card? It's like Mind Hack or something. But, um, you know, if you would control a creature, damage that would red deuce your life total to less than one, red deuces it to one instead. Which changes to, uh, if it would green deuce your life total to less than one, then it green deuces it to one instead. Um, for what it's worth, I think that this is actually how it works. Let me actually see if I can find the card. Change the text of any card being played or already in play. God, these old cards. Holy shit. By changing one basic land type to another. For example, you can change Swamp Walk to Plains Walk. Yeah, so this is how that works. <laughs> I've decided. I've decided that this is how that works. What's the funniest thing you can do with this? In terms of, you know, the lexicon. I don't give a fuck about mechanically. I want to know what the funniest word you can change to another word is. Old magic is busted. No, I mean this is just a this is just a card that does something that you would be like, oh, wouldn't that be cool? But rules wise, it doesn't really work that much. Slight of mind is the fixed version. A fixed in quotes. This effect lasts indefinitely. Oh, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Can we read old Oubliette? Fine. Oubliette for the longest time was an exceptionally uh, expensive card in Popper because, oh, shouldn't have clicked this. I didn't realize they would show me actual Oubliettes. Um, it was a very expensive card in Popper because uh, it had just not received a reprint. The reason it hadn't received a reprint has nothing to do with the reserve. Lerve, bleh, bleh reserved list and everything to do with the fact that no one knows what this fucking card does so you can find the old print okay <clears throat> let's go folks select a creature in play when oubliette is cast that creature is considered out of play as long as oubliette is in play Hence the creature, hence, the creature cannot be the target of spells and cannot receive damage, use special powers, you know, as one does, attack or defend. All uh, counters and enchantments on the creature remain but are also out of play. What does that mean? All counters and enchantments on the creature remain on the creature but are also out of play. If Oubliette is removed, creature returns to play tapped. This is, and it, they, it just says text. And it wasn't even that good in Popper, but, like, it did come up occasionally. Uh, now watch this. Watch this. <clears throat> this is the most elegant fix to a card I have ever seen in my life. When Oubliette enters the battlefield, target creature phases out until it leaves the battlefield. Unfucking real. There's no way that this random keyword encompasses all of that. They 100% have made a functional errata to this. I, but it is, it is, it is like a bit of beautiful Magic the Gathering fuckery that the way to uh, update the text of this completely inscrutable card is to replace it with the most inscrutable archetype. It's very funny. The only difference is that it doesn't trigger leaves the battlefield and enters the battlefield anymore. Everything else is intact. Honestly, I don't care. If they had printed an oubliette with the exact same ta text as like Oblivion Ring, I would be like, fine, fucking whatever. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't give a shit if the auras and counters remain. Read chains. What? What's the problem with chains of Mesistopheles? This card's like super understand. I'll just pull it up. Oh, that's not it. How 
How are you all having a problem with this card? I don't get it. What's the issue? This is just a link to the fucking, uh, <laughs> the Oracle text. I, I will say, people whine about Chains of Mesistopheles. I have never found this card difficult to understand. Maybe it's because I play Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, here we go. Every time a player draws a card, that player must first discard a card from his or her hand. If there are no cards in their hand, they take the top card in the library and they put it in the graveyard instead of drawing. This doesn't apply to your draw for turn. So... Every time you draw a card, you have to discard a card from your hand as well. And if you don't have any cards in your hand, you mill. That's it. How is that difficult? Well, <laughs> the oracle text for this card makes it a lot worse. Uh, here it is. If a player would draw a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, that player discards a card instead. If the player discards a card this way, they draw a card. If they don't discard a card this way, they mill a card. This is the snow unlight of Dark World of uh, the Oracle. Um, a card that makes total sense in do what you want, no rules, D&D &D speak, and becomes absolutely n not, not even remotely understandable once you throw in the, uh, the actual stuff. This is the snow of magic. Great minds, baby. Great minds. The 100 worst magic cards of all time. What is the worst magic card of all time? I'm, I'm just interested in the worst martyr magic card of all time. What the fuck? This is 100 through 76. I'm sorry. I would have to get 25 to 1. I'm not waking up for anything over 25. What's snow do? All right, I'll just tell you what snow does. Snow on Light of Dark World. If this card is uh, sent from your hand to the graveyard by a card effect, uh, or discarded from your hand to the graveyard by a card effect, uh, you can add a Dark World card from your deck to your hand. If this card was sent from your hand to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can also special summon a Dark World card, uh, what, from your graveyard. So that's what it does. But here's the text of this card. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, colon. If it was discarded from your hand to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, comma. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, semicolon. Add one Dark World card from your deck to your hand, comma. Then special summon that target, if any, in face-up defense position. Uh. Opinion on Pax Adventure Plunder Patrol. Please show Anime Dead. That's a great one. Anime Dead. This card, what does this card do? What do you think it does? It fucking brings a monster back. Let me see if I can find like a really old print of Anime Dead. All right, here we go. Take target creature from any graveyard and put it directly under into play under your control with minus one, minus zero. Treat this creature as if it were just summoned, and if anime dead is removed, bury the creature in the owner's graveyard. Like, functionally premature burial. Except it, uh, go older? Oh, is there an even better one? Except it gives it a small debuff, right? Because you're animating the dead. Alright. You would think this would be an easy thing to template. It is not. <laughs> Behold the newest print of Animate Dead. Enchantment. Aura. Enchant creature card in a graveyard. <clears throat> when Animate Dead enters the battlefield, if it's on the battlefield, it loses enchant creature card in the graveyard and gains enchant creature put onto the battlefield with Animate Dead. Return enchanted creature card to the battlefield under your control and attach Animate Dead to it. When Animate Dead leaves the battlefield, that creature's controller sacrifices it? Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus zero. Incredible. Just an unbelievable uh, victory for uh, problem-solving card text in Magic the Gathering. It's like, so what does this card do? Well, you play it, and then it brings back a creature and equips this card to the creature. Okay. 
I regret to inform you, you have made a critical error, and this is not workable in modern Magic the Gathering. And they're like, okay, let's just write 400 cards on this word. And also, burying isn't sacrificing, right? Isn't it? It's destroyed and it can't be regenerated? What happened? Oh, did I get the order of the words wrong? Oh, no. Sorry, chat. It'll never happen again. I promise. Plus, the new art sucks. I'm sorry. This art is fucking boring. Give me, like, the stupidest skeletons I've ever seen. Give me, like, three very <laughs> dorky skeletons. Give me the Anson 93 in the corner. There has never been a second good anime dead art. Look at this. That's... I think this is fan art, but this is just so fucking boring. Ugh. The closest we got is this one from, like, the, the Graveborn decks, but even that's like, oh, my God, this is so much work. Give me the three ske skeletons, man. Three skeletons. Look how many skeletons. There's three of them. Oh, see how chat likes banding? Ugh, my God. Fine. So, Magic the Gathering, every single set uh, introduces five new keywords because they, ju they just want eternal formats to be fucking unplayable without reminder text. And, uh, oh my god. They can't all be winners. This is, this is largely considered to be the worst keyword of all time. Banding. Banding is a keyword ability with different effects based on whether the banding creature is attacking or blocking. It was introduced in alpha and, thank God, is no longer used on regular cards. Let me just read this out. <clears throat> Reminder text. Banding. All right? If you want to know why Magic the Gathering cards have less text than Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it's because of this. That single word encompasses the next Nirvana High Paladin amount of words. Here we go. Any creatures with banding and up to one without can attack in a band. Bands are blocked as a group. If any creatures with banding you control are blocked or being blocked by a creature, you divide that creature's combat damage, not its controller, among any of the creatures it's being blocked by or is blocking. All right? However, there is a second banding keyword called bands with other, and then uh, like a, yeah, it says quality. Yeah. Any, so like bands with other humans. Any quality creatures can attack in the band as long as at least one of those creatures has bands with other quality they are blocked as a group and if at least two quality creatures you control one of which has the bands with other quality are blocked or being blocked by the same creature you divide that creature's combat damage not its controller among any of the creatures that's being blocked by or is blocking isn't there like a worse version of this too and fuck you by the way banding sliver thank god that shit is not played I believe there is one additional version of this. I might be wrong, though. It's not a real card. Click on Banding Sliver. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, that's fun. Thank God that didn't get printed. I mean, Unhinged is perfect for banding, right? <clears throat> yeah, bands with other. Yes. A variant of banding, bands with other, restricts banding to work with other creatures of a given quality, but before the Magic 2010 rules change, it was the most counterintuitive ability in the game, because instead of allowing banding with creatures of the given type, it only allows banding with creatures with the same bands with other ability. Funny, right? Uh, there are eight cards in Legends with bands with other. 
Five banding lands that can give the ability to legendary creatures. One that can create tokens with the ability, which is Master of the Hunt. And two cards that can remove the ability. L they were like, oh, we have to make the, the hate cards for this broken-ass fucking ability. Uh, which is found on exactly one creature card and five lands. There are currently no tournament legal creature cards that have bands with other. <laughs> Incredible. <clears throat> this doesn't do anything! Wait, this card does nothing! Remove the bands with other ability from target creature until end of turn. I guess theoretically... You could remove the ability from the tokens made by Master of the Hunt. I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Right? Wow. <sighs> Read Dead Ringers. Dead Ringers, I literally do not understand what problem people have with Dead Ringers. I'm sorry, I, I, I played with this card growing up. Destroy two target non-black creatures unless either one is a color the other isn't. They can't be regenerated. What's the problem? Two creatures can't be black, have to be the same color. They could have made it more clear. I guess making it more clear would just say destroy two target non-black creatures that are the same color. That doesn't really... That's not really fair because like... Oh no, yeah, that would that would be. And can't have different multicolors? Yeah. Destroy two target non-black creatures that share a color. Well, that is not the same card. Because then I can cast it on a blue black creature and a red or a, a blue green creature which you can't do with dead ringers yeah i think this is the only way to do it and it's fine dead ringers is a great card by the way i love this card i made a cube we, my friend and i made a cube one day just out of like random apocalypse cards that he had and i play that cube frequently Can you cast this spell to deliberately not destroy monsters? Yes. It's funny about how terrible it is for a double kill spell. What? This sees play, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Is there a way I can see if a card has seen play recently? Yeah, I think there is. Yeah, boom. Oh, this is limited 2001. Well, of course that's going to be there. I thought it saw a very small amount of popper play. Right? Well, maybe I'm wrong. Popper surely has better commons. Well, that depends. I you would be shocked at what is played in Popper. In fact, you know what? Let's let's shock you right now. Is my is my boy still playable? God, affinity is so good in Popper. Fuck. Flicker is too hard to play. I don't play that shit. It's too hard. Uh Orzhov Aggro? Where is Orzhov Control? Orzhov Pestilence. Yeah, let's go. This is the deck. Oh, look at this fucking deck. What do they play in this deck? Uh, Read the Bones. Three mana sorcery. Scry two, then draw two cards. You lose two life. Terrible card. Suffocating Fumes. Three mana instant. Creatures your opponent's control gets minus one, minus one till end of turn. Magnifying Glass. A three mana colorless mana rock. 
Man. Oh, people are out here playing Scred? Wait, what the fuck? We're allowed to play Scred? Augur of Bolas. Wow, we are still printing Augur of Bolas. This is a deck that seems like it would be really good if, like, the people in Popper cared about resolving one mana spells, right? I love Pesh. This is, like, my favorite deck. One of my favorite decks of all time. Pestilence is one of the coolest cards ever, in my opinion. It's a little gross to look at. But there's a lot of arts for it, too. I can't just search Pestilence. We got this art. We got this art. We got... There's a third art, I swear to God. This art. I need one more art. So that I can have a playset and everyone's a different art. <laughs> What's going on in this one? He's playing a fucking flute and a bunch of rats showed up. Excellent. Really good stuff. Oh no, Custom this dice went block. up. Oh, she's I'm back! She's back. she's back, baby! <laughs> Rewarded. <laughs> oh god, the cussy makes a return. Traded one cussy for another. <laughs> return of the cussy lords. I, I, got, I tell you, the key is my ride or die. No! What? What? What is the name of this game? Oh my god, I can't believe... I can't believe that he uploaded this. Oh man, I I was I was really on something for this for this playthrough. I was like, oh, I've talked with Ruggles once. Let me just pull out all the cussy discussion, all of the nine eleven discussion. Mario Party Superstars. Do you not have the right one? No, he does. No. He's played with us before. Mario Party Superstars and Super Mario Party are two different games. <laughs> Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, oh, excellent. He was a little weirded out, I think. He got into it. Do come on, man! Oh. The fifth time you said you would kill him. Yeah, this is the part. Or right, hold up, this is the part. Uh, I will keep my three dollars and buy the double dice block instead. Toad is a good capitalist, though, and doesn't let you sell the things that you. I, this is the other thing is I, um, I, <laughs> when I and Simo are in the same room, I bring out the worst parts of Simo. I'm like, all right, Simo on his channel is like, hey, everybody, it's me, Simo. But like, I, I'm like a little gremlin in his ear and I'm like, Simo, say the shitty fucking thing. And he's like, okay. Buy from him. Double, so what the me? fuck? Wait, so when I get a star, I can... Get double? Is that what that does? You are a bad influence, correct. What kind of broken shit is that? Yo, easy, chat. Yo. Oh, by the way, when I was a kid, I had a friend whose family was impeccably rich, and we would go over to their house to drink uh, their expensive uh, alcohol while they were gone. Um, and um, my... I don't know how this happened, but because I was the loudest, we were always making trouble at their house. And because I was the loudest of our friend group, the parents thought that all the things we did and the trouble we got into was my idea. So I went to a wedding with them like a couple of months ago and they were like, yeah, sorry that we like didn't like you your entire childhood. And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, like I feel kind of bad about it. See, we thought that you were the person being a bad influence on our kids. But actually, our kids were being a bad influence on you. And I was like, yes, I've been saying that, but I was very loud. Oh, rigged in Mario's favor. <laughs> now that the key is in play, I have to ask. Would you? Uh, what, are you are you asking me if it's breedable and submissive? I, I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally same. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, you know, now that we're all adults, uh, it's very refreshing to be like, yeah, that's fine, <laughs> you know? 
someone in that group was uh, annoying and you know. Easy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Bro, must be nice, dude. <laughs> the rich get richer, Joseph. <laughs> All right, I know it says it's a four player, but let's just think what if it's actually a 3v1 against Simo? Well, so they he have those too, card. but that's not how it worked. So, <laughs> no, theoretically, we could play it. Right, who's who's Simo? I forget. Simo is Yosher. All right, get the fuck you out fucker! Of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you th oh, you. I like how the title doesn't say Mario Party. All right, chat. It is correct to do that. I'm just going to let you know. It's 100% correct. For Coder on his channel to upload a video that says not Yu-Gi-Oh in the title, it's instant death to the video. I mean, is it actually clickbait? Like, Is, is it clickbait to not tell you that he, he's trying to beat us specifically in Mario Party? You can, like, kind of see the Mario Party board behind us. No, uh, you actually can't. Okay, it is not clear this is Mario Party. Ruggles, you you want some? You want some, buddy? Whoa, whoa. What the fuck are Coder you doing? Coder has like the that? biggest fucking snowball. <laughs> How do you- Come on, come on. Fuck! <laughs> yes! <laughs> At the video game. Yeah, I'm sure they'll understand. Ryan really is just insane. At oh, I have to see if the Ukraine- yeah, just no, we just swap places. <laughs> A lot of shit from the uh, unwashed community. I will let them kill me. Ryan, no, don't kill me! Ryan. Oh, good, it didn't make I it in. Thank God. Fuck! <laughs> wow! Oh. Ryan really is just insane at Halo, dude. It just is what it is. Yeah. All my shooters, man. That has to be That has to be the Halo practice. DK, DK is <laughs> clapping Canadian cheeks, sniper. dude. Let's go, Alex. You got this, man. You fucking turd. <laughs> you <laughs> actual poo-poo head. Oh, you poo-poo oh, pee-pee brain. Oh, my God. Hey, right in front just of me, put please. it right in front of me, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Never good. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> no! I like the little arms race you can see. Me and Simo spamming uh, our respective uh, stickers. Oh! Dude! <laughs> I love you so much, Alex. All the way out there. Holy shit. I think it's unfortunate, though. It's right in front of me. It's right in. It get owned, Alex. Holy shit. <laughs> What the fuck is he? He's all the way over there. Whoa! Hey, get the fuck out of the way from me, buddy. Oh, fuck sorry, you, Alex. Jokes. It was. <laughs> it was. It was meant for him. Ah! <laughs> all right, all you. Bring it on, bitch. Kevin, we don't talk of to each other like that. Yeah. Fuck. Come on, man. <laughs> and there's snow sports. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone knows the national sport of Canada is spiked tubing. <laughs> I pay to watch that in the Olympics. Yeah, it's the new meta for sure. As soon as ratings are down. All right, this is yeah, probably yeah. gonna be my last turn. So Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has. It has a. People, you oh, get it. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that hard. It's kind of hard. Twenty-one. Just roll so it. Oh, yeah. Please, I'm begging. Fucking NFTs, dude. I don't care. Oh. This is a shopping bonus. Shopping. Yeah, it has to be you. Yeah. Let's go. Alex Let's wins. Go. Alex's bot wins. Is there a third star? I think there's only two. Oh my god. He wins. The bot That's fucking a shopping wins. Bonus. <laughs> oh my god. The no, bot wait, there's fucking some, no, something wins. else is happening. Oh. oh this. Whoa! We lost to the Simo bot. Yes. Oh! Oh my <laughs> Bitches be shopping. I don't know what to tell you, you know? Bitches be shopping. <laughs> Fuck, man. Nice job. Nice one. Really fucking wicked. I love that. Oh my lord. I can't believe you lost this fucking single box. It was Dyer. I knew it. Dyer, thanks. I gave you a shout out in the, in the footage. I said, Dyer, please do not put the Ukraine joke in here. And she didn't. That's why she's the greatest to ever do. God. <laughs> I got I you baited. <laughs> I actually hit Wait, both buttons. I'm like, matter? what the fuck do you do for that? <laughs> fuck you, Joseph. <laughs> Jabated! Oh, <laughs> wow. See, Ruggles got into it. 
What the hell? This just happened. That it roughly takes around this. Oh no! Wait, I I went to MTG top eight a couple. Same of time ago. as a Drytron combo, or a little bit less. Uh, it it is it is less than a Drytron combo, but they're going to be like giggling to themselves and like shouting out abridged references the whole time they're doing it. <laughs> uh, Screw the rules! I have fetch lines. I have Niv Mizzet Perun. You know, like I I have no problem playing Commander with my friends. But at that point, I'm only having fun because I'm playing with my friends. And I could be playing anything with my friends, you know? As... Yeah, you could be playing Politics Simulator. Anything and the better. other thing is that there's like a competitive version of it. Uh, but because the ban list is the way it is, all, all decks are like super consistent and super fast. If I recall correctly, it might have changed. Um, and everyone on Twitter is constantly mad at the competitive scene. I, I don't understand why, but, like, everyone on Twitter is like, CEDH is killing magic. And I'm like, what? Why? And then the CEDH players will show up and they'll, like, say a slur. <laughs> that, that, that is true. <clears throat> Here and I can't imagine playing CEDH, like, as a competitive experience. It just doesn't sound fun to me. This one I was I was proud of. This was off the New dome. New Jersey I didn't plan is a this. state run by like the rat that has maintained the most sentience over the longest period of time, right? Like every year they go they go to the path and they try to find the largest, most self aware rat, and then they put that in the highest seat of government in New Jersey. And then uh all of their their uh money every year is spent running competing ads over if you're gonna call it pork roll or Taylor ham, right? Um, everyone in New Jersey is addicted to, uh, some type of drug that, like, the CIA introduced into China in the 1400s, and, uh, they all, like, have really strong opinions about what brand of antihistamine to use, right? I'll defend any of that. I agree with all of that. <clears throat> it, opium Den, New Jersey? Well, yes, unironically, and also run by the giant rat who makes all the rules. The CIA didn't exist in the 1400s? Oh, so you know that? You were alive then? Hmm? You you saw it firsthand? Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to banish right, a light. Uh, Robinator, thank you for the sub. All right, let's play some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. We're going to play a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, then we're going to do something else. I haven't decided on what something else is. So I, just, I don't know. I, maybe I'll play Pokemon again. I can confirm the CIA existed, but it had a different name. What? Where am I? What the fuck? Where did I go? What's going on? Where am I? Okay, there's you. Where's me? That's not me. Oh, there I am. Jersey is run by Chuck E. Cheese, Rat of Rats, Rat of Rats. You know what I got to say about Chuck E. Cheese? Poggers! All right. Just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay, we got the N. Uh, let's think. Um... Uh, groan. Oh, okay. I'm in. Wait, so there's only an O in here? How about... Uh, I think O-U is a good guess. So like T-O-U-R-N, Torn. Towern. Um, I like RN at the end. Morn, M O R U N. <laughs> I mean, it's just too fucking easy for me, baby. It's just too fucking easy. Three on hard mode? Ah, uh, if you say so. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, what's next? 
Uh, so I want to go back to my tweet where I asked for uh, for deck suggestions, and we'll pick a deck, and that's what we'll main this season. How's that sound? All right, look, going to Plow 1 with something like Zoo Try is laughably easy. Basically feels like I'm not getting better at the deck while still climbing. This is true. Uh, I, I'm i only going to get better if I know what plays suck, and I don't know what plays suck because I win if I misplay or not because the deck is too good. So I want something good uh, but worse than meta, okay? So here's what we got. You have to try Loodle. Everyone says this. I will do one Loodle. Yes, I'm I'm familiar. Mm. Okay, we got the O. Um, hmm. No, it can't be holes. There's no E. Uh... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Read definition here. What is the definition of cocks? A chicken, I think. <laughs> I love Tim's cock. Thanks, I love my chicken, too. <laughs> uh, laughing at the Urban Dictionary in 2022. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Fluffle, no. Dragon Maid, no. ABC, I'm serious. Tombox, I want to play ABC. But ABC and Master Duel? There's one ABC. There's no shot. High rarity pacifist? No. Oh. So if you guys are looking for the best ABC deck out, I am. Mr. Box, I am. There, this is the video for you guys. Hey everybody, this is Tom Box, and I'm gonna show you guys the true power of ABC. It is as easy as throwing an Ojama token onto a Numeron board. If beating the meta is uh, something that you guys are looking for, then make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, destroy that button, and don't forget I'm to annihilating grab that subscribe it. button. And Damn, this video did terrible. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? 5K? And let's jump straight into the deck list. All right, I'm here we go. So like this that. is based off. Oh, yeah, brother. That one guy, 1073, thank you for the sub. The fuck wants to play ABC? Me! God damn me. <clears throat> yeah, this is <laughs> Wow. Off of my old trap ABC deck from like a year and a half ago. I also got two really epic replays to show to you guys about how to play this deck. What do you do if you get stuck under a VFD and what do you do in your opening play and even There's no way, right? There's no shot we're playing this many equip guys. One driver, one photon orbital, one heavy mech support platform. Come on. Even if it gets completely broken, how does this deck survive, say, like a Numeron Onslaught? This is all included in this video, so make sure you guys watch till the end. Monster lineup, triple maxi, just for the meta matchups, Drytron, Tribrigade, dig into the drop. This can't be real. No, 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 no. But, uh, we have one heavy mech support armor, just a follow card, best return three and five. Not really good at going first. Not really good going second, uh, just a follow up card, and then we have double ashes from my hand trap dealing with Maxi. Carrier, ASL makes your cards. Carrier, if it's equipped, though. it makes it immune to monster effects. If it B, makes it immune to spells, and C, makes it immune to trap. As for their other send a grave effect, this one retrieves a union monster from the graveyard, non targeting. Uh, this one searches a union monster from the deck, and this one summons a union monster from your hand. So this is the triple lineup here 3A, 3B, 2C, and we have one photon orbital from the union carrier to grab our galaxy soldier. You only need two because if you open up multiple tons of this card costs, I don't think the hand's loaded enough to actually do that. And we have one of the best cards and worst cards, union driver, best in the deck, worst in the hand, because you can't really summon it. But either way, this one helps you dodge Ash Blossom because if you have it equipped, you can banish it, and it will equip straight. Okay, I have actually lost all interest for this deck upon watching this. Domain Monarch? Maybe. Tough Control? <laughs> no thanks, Seb. I saw how the 5v5 went. Unironically, Generator? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up! You, you were talking about Weather Generator for a while. Why not try that? Because Weather is going to be uh, one of the uh, solo modes in the future, and I don't want to spend money on it. Um... Ad Emancipator. I just love hard leg. 
I'd like to play a deck that's like maybe a little less powerful than the meta decks. Um, what do you what do you what do you recommend? The third best deck in the game. With Block Dragon, they're at full power and could be mixed with a ton of other archetypes. Megalith and Koakai Mairu, but Fossil has a lot of potential. I am not going... I, no. No, thank you. Hard Leg, it's too good. I. <laughs> this is a tiered deck. I've been playing since launch, and I've yet to encounter Ad Emancipator on the ladder. I want Hard Leg's ladder. This is the third best deck. <laughs> it's called gold, I believe. <clears throat> Ad Emancipator player here. Fossil Addis is cope, and Megalith Addis literally doesn't work. Addis? Ad Emancipator. <laughs> Muskets. Oh, you are on musket propaganda today. <laughs> Nearly full power. They are missing Linkross. Shut the fuck up. This is what I've been playing. Oh. I love you, Major. I will not be caught dead playing fucking Brass Bombard. It's not going to happen. Brass Bombard. Why not whale for hero? Oh my god. Speedroids don't have cork blaster? What the fuck? Why do Lyralisks have bird call? What? What, what is going on? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I could play, like, a grass deck. That might be fun. Like, grass zombie. Grass zombie lich. Uh, okay, now that I've said that out loud, it doesn't sound very fun at all. Zoo lich. No. No, come on. I'm gonna banish a light in a dark. Synchron's good. Have you considered pure Lyralisk? They're missing stuff, right? Do they have Ensemble Blue? Pure Lyralisk is a good deck. UA. This is the other thing. I'm like, I'm going to climb to Plat 1. I've been climbing to UA. I got to Plat 5 on the 28th. I am not interested. I would like to beat Meta, not hope I don't run into them. Yes, I know it's 48 cards. The deck needs a ton of outs, uh, a ton of outs to see. 24 win streak in plat one. Master Duel meta Ad Emancipator player that wrote the guide literally cannot play the deck in the TCG and his terrible deck building takes translate between formats. Take the Sekka's list with a grain of salt. No. <laughs> Come on. Try to get with this, you won't, Bozo. Uh oh, correct. <clears throat> Striker? Nah. Cosmo? I use this to get to plat one? Oh! Now we're fucking talking, ladies and gentlemen. Cosmo. I can build a better Cosmo deck than this. That said, no, I'm not doing this. Another EM player. Play Grass Crafter. <laughs> no. VFD list Fluffle. Okay, now we're just getting words. All right, let's see what we got. Odd eyes, bro. No. 
Unchained Evil Twin. No. Neptis. No. PK. PK I'm is a tier. Light in the dark. PK. PK mod check. Chief the Ripper, thank you for the four. Play something based. I'm trying. Where? Where is it? I I don't care what Master Duel says. PK is meta. You you don't you don't get to play Rongo and not be meta. No, but what if it goes second? What if PK goes second? I think they'll be fine. Time Thief Raid Raptor? No. Infernity? Oh! With my deck profile, I reached plat three. In one turn, I can take out Borload, Savage Dragon, Access Code, Appaloosa, Void Ogre. It's every deck. Grass Skull Servants. Um. No. Synchron Exodia. No. Wow, you played the basic no skill bitch deck. Thanks, Arsene Lupin. Thanks, Arsene L26749382. Sulfa Chord? No. Try to climb with a classic beatdown deck. I will not. Not Gem Knight. A deck I've learned to love is Danger Paleo Zoo Dogmatica. <laughs> if you want a challenge, try Wing Dragon of Raw. Good luck. Please stuff that's remotely competitive. I do not want to play Raw Turbo. People. Pacifist. No. IDS. No. Super Quant, nah. Bujin, nah. Ghost Trick, nah. Synchron! Nah. Monarch. What does Monarch look like? Yo, what's up, Daxodo, man? So I managed to squeeze. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Dude, I've seen this guy before. He's literally Euro Simo. Oh. Calling Lithium Euro Simo. Oh, God. That's pain. He's been making these videos for 15 years. 15 years. I used to have Lithium added on Facebook when I had Facebook. He was like, un I, I have never seen a more put together Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber. Do you know what Lithium's real life life is like? He's like an adult with like a wife. <laughs> he has like a normal job. This is just something he does on the side. He's like 34. It's incredible. Like, <sighs> if you go to Nim Nim's Facebook profile, he's only talking about fucking which, you know, spellbook magician he wants to pipe down, right? 24-7, 365. You go to Lithium's Facebook and he's like, it's a nice day today. I should really go for a walk. <laughs> it's amazing.
If you tried to talk to Lithium about Twitter, he would be like, oh, that social media stuff is too much for me. He's too good for this world. He's literally, like, in a constant state of touching grass. I, I mean, it, it comes across a lot in my really older videos, but I would probably say that Lithium was my one number one influence uh, when I started Yugi tubing. He was the only, he's the, to this day, the only like replay tube guy who was even remotely worth watching. And, you know, since that, he then he has completely diversified his content. So, Robinator, thank you for the hundred. Play Elden Ring. Ooh, that's a good idea. Have you seen Pax Plunder Deck? What? Where? Twitter? Um, oh my god. I would imagine that these choices are made because he doesn't have the cards. Like, I would imagine that we are playing these ratios because we don't have the cards. But you would never play two black eyes and you would never play two red beard. This is neat. It's fun because, like, uh, the captain is being a little tight-lipped about his list. Um, but, oh, but you might see it on a certain channel this Sunday. Uh, you know, we're... I'm working with him on it. Uh, but, um... I can't imagine it's too inventive, right? I feel like it's really just this. <laughs> like, there's not too much you can change here. Take out two hand traps, put in the third red and the third black eyes. One booty? No, one booty's normal now. I think that I think the booty is just a little cope. You need it in your deck as an option if you're playing against a deck that's like not making those typings, but everyone's on twelve hand traps, so you'll always have it. And uh you know, that's just the way that it is. They don't want to share that they're playing Eldritch. Ooh, true. True, correct. True, true, truers, any truers in chat? Uh, all right. Let's see what else we got. Adagnister. No. Code Talker. That's Coder. So that's exactly where your head should be. Mech Knight Field Spell. Scars Turbo? Oh. Could we play Scars Turbo? I feel like... What does Scars Turbo look like in Master du Duel? Okay, Idli into Almirage into Scars. Okay. Perp. Yellow. Uh, Move Man. Red Man. That guy. Memory. Spectrum Supreme. Yellow. Ibli. Ibli. Bring back this guy. Astrum, Memory, Scars, Ooh, all this has to happen is your opponent passes turn one, I guess. This looks like shit. Okay. 
I've changed my mind. This is shit. I remember they had some one cards, but that might have been with cards that are now banned. Let me see what I was playing. Spot base. It reads all death spot monsters on the field gain 500 attack. Monsters on the field gain 300 attack. Thundra. I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Silver 155. Thank you for the subscription. Okay, I think the I think the uh we we have come to a consensus. The three options are going to be ABC. No, I don't really want to play ABC. The three options are going to be Synchron, Domain Monarch, or Grass Thunder. I'm going to put up a poll. I'm going to leave the poll up for five minutes and then we'll, we'll decide. Yeah, okay, fine. Chaos Thunder. Chaos, Thunder, Synchron, Domain, Monarch. Is there a reason you haven't considered one of the Pendulum decks? I don't find the... I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Summoning mechanism particularly interesting. The reason I like Metal Foes is because they're good... Ten magicians are good. I, they're fine. We should have just taken domain monarch. I'm gonna out. banish a light in the dark. Oh, man, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really hard when I have to play synchron in a format where I could play chaos thunder with like snow. Goku one one two one two. Thank you for the sub. Give some love to the mech knights. True. Oh, this this video is so another quality scarlet piece of content. Oh, right, hold up. Wait, before before we do that, uh, let me see if I can find my uh, this thing that happened that I saw earlier. It's it's just so good. It's just so e e epic and red pilled. All right, here we go. <clears throat> While we're all standing with Ukraine, my second piece on Ukraine. In a world where unarmed civilians stand in the street singing their national anthem to Russian tanks, how can we ever again call someone who likes dressing up as the opposite sex brave? True! Oh my... I knew... I knew that... Okay, chat, we'll, we'll play... This is easy mode. Guess the nationality... <laughs> British, you got it in one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, British. Me when, you know, Russia invades a nation. Yo, I can't believe that trans people did this. <laughs> I just... I, <laughs> you really can get a job doing anything there. You just, you just gotta show up. Yeah, I'm like a journalist. <laughs> Fucking put me in. Put me in, coach. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's check this out. Hey, boss. Yeah, what's up? I, uh, I just wanted to swing by and... Let me close out Master Duel so you don't get this in the background. I don't want to fuck up Scarlet's sound editing. Hey boss. Yep. What's up? I uh I just wanted to swing by and throw my name into the mix for that that new position, the plat one position. Yeah. Really? Huh. Well then, uh, okay, it's yours. What? Uh, really? And wait, why did you hesitate so much earlier? Well, 
frankly, we haven't had a lot of interest in our unpaid positions. Unpaid? But yes, but don't worry. It is very rewarding work. In what way? <laughs> All right. So when can you start? How is the job rewarding? Oh, it is a lot of? <laughs> Why would I take this job? It's more work for less pay. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Something else? Yes. If you want people to actually work here and you want the company to grow, don't you think you should incentivize working harder? That's a good point. You know, you're pretty good at this having ideas thing. You want my job? Uh, I mean, sure. Oh, thank goodness I can finally go look for a paid position somewhere else. What? Hmm? And also King Scarlet. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Ethan Brown, you dumb, stupid idiot. You gave me way too much money. Also, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, King Scarlet. He's good. He's good. Actually, the U.S. job market? True! Any truers? When you're good, you're good, folks. All right, how's this poll doing? We're just about done. Whoa, it is close. Oh, man. It is going to come down to the wire here. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, and the winner is Chaos Thunder. Wow, by a sliver. Shouts out to Domain Monarch with 1% of the uh <laughs> of the the vote. Oh my god. Do you have a, the money for the deck like that even chat? When you're as rich as a Rothschild, you've got the money for anything. <laughs> no. All right, let's uh let's look up uh Chaos Thunder. Someone sent me one the other day that I really liked. Ugh. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. What? <laughs> no, this isn't legal. What? <laughs> what? He's playing... No, this is, this is like for customs. He's playing three white, two black. Really? Okay. Uh, hmm. <gasps> yes! Hello, YouTube. My name's Ian. Yes! <laughs> Good Joseph has uploaded a video on this. Andrew, and this is another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Beginner series. In this series, I'm talking about a lot of the meta decks in, this in the series, game, and I'm both... giving a brief analysis of them, showing a build, showing you how to play them. This is the one take testing the intro! Meta decks in the game, and I'm giving a brief analysis of them, showing a build, showing you how to play them a little bit, talking about their strengths and their weaknesses, and so of people course can the decide for themselves card. what deck they want to focus on. If you guys are liking this kind of content, I really appreciate a subscription to the channel. In this video, we're talking about the Thunder Dragon archetype, so let's jump right into the video. Thunder Dragons are a fusion. I don't want to play this build. Um, or do I? I wanted to play the one with the Chaos Creator in it. Yeah, I don't want to play Colossus Pass. I'm sorry. I want to play the one with the game. Who sent me one yesterday? Jesse Cotton has 60 card. Ooh, okay. All right. I'm with you. <laughs> no, this is not what I want to play. There's no chaos creator. I literally do not want to play this. I 
I swear to God, someone sent me one yesterday that had the Chaos Creator in it. That's the one I want to play. Just add a Chaos Creator. Shut, shut the fuck up! I'm going to find it. Could go to Master Duel Meta. Sure. Now that's what I'm talking about. Uh, hold up. This deck looks like ass. This deck also looks like ass. Why are they all playing Jizzy Cummy? The light no, this is this is Thunder King. Why are they all playing this? Searchable? Alright, this is the starting point. We'll 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 work from here. But this is a good starting point, I think. I like the way this is looking to begin with. We will simply make it better. That's how it works. <laughs> I I I should not be calling this card Jizzy Cummy. No, I don't want Marvel versus Capcom mid fight madness. I remember when <laughs> when I was in college, we would call it we would call it Jizzy Cummy the Kitten Destroying Daddy. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Oh my god. It's better than Come Among Us? <laughs> Not really. Why? It was... <laughs> Were you ever normal? No. This <laughs> is clearly not. Alright. Okay, let's um let's do some disenchanting. Are right, you know who was behind that one, Danny? That was uh that was So Rob and that was Scabin. Why are they only playing one of Thunder Dragon Hawk and two of Thunder Dragon Roar? That doesn't seem optimal. I'll just play more of those cards. Colossus. Um. Okay. God damn it. Okay, nope, no big deal. There's no way we're playing triple solar. In fact, I don't think we're playing any solar. I think we're playing zero solar. <clears throat> I swear we pulled a levy near. Gotta have a Sark, yeah. Tell me this isn't a fucking you are. Thank you. Uh... All 
Are we playing snow? None of these decks are playing snow. It might be... I think it's worse than the fucking black and white dragons. Oh, this is looking pretty good. the 60 card mm -hmm. no I'm gonna play this we'll switch to 60 card if this is not epic or poggers They have Chaos Ruler in here, but how are we making Chaos Ruler in this deck? Ash plus Thunder Dragon. Oh, how could I have... Instant Fusion seems like a card you should be playing. It does, doesn't it? Well, I don't have any of this shit. <clears throat> Third time's the charm. All right, we got room for one more because I'm not building the BLS link for this. Mm. How are you making Chaos Ruler? I literally don't know. It's in the deck. I have no idea how they're making Chaos Ruler. Some summer? Oh, God. Halk? To do what? Underworld Mommy, we already have her. But then we need to find room for the instant fusion. And we probably should just be playing the instant fusion, right? <clears throat> Ditch spheres, you aren't making that? Why not? Because I do not have any... Why are they playing all these cards? No, you can make it. Cut summer, it never comes up. Al Mirage instead of Striker? No. The third Titan? We're never making the second Titan. Yeah, Link Curry could come up. <clears throat> um we gotta cut one card from the main we probably don't need three matrix the 
Levianir. No, Levianir is Bay. Yeah, you're right. We'll play the third Matrix over Levianir. Cut Chaos Creator? No. BLS link? I'm not spending UR dust on the fucking BLS link. Roaring Thun! Do, 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 do. Roaring Thun! Alright, here we go. Okay, there's a Titan. That's a Titan I don't have to craft. Can we play Twin? What do you mean? Oh, there's two Titan Titans I don't have to craft. Excellent. Okay, there's a Matrix. We, of course, after we crafted the Matrix, we have found the Matrix. All these Watts are just going in the fucking garbage right now. Oh, wow. That was a really good one for us, actually. Stop. You have all the cards? I don't. Oh, that's not helpful. There's the second Thunder Dragon Fusion. I think we're done here. Uh, okay. I'm going to banish a lot. So... Go dismantle some URs. How much UR dust do we need? We need uh Hosemina, thank you for the 16. We need um I'm putting the levy back in. We're gonna try this. Uh we need one, two URs. Oh, that's very doable. On that case, yeah, we'll make the... The BLS link. We don't need Watt Hydra. We don't need Vylon Omega. We don't need Watt Chimera. We kind of need the rest of these. Kendicha Colossus. And I think that's it. Oh, the levy. Dust in the wind, baby. Let's go pull these free packs. Oh, a UR! Don't mind if I do. If I get the uh, Buster Blader link here, the Blue Eyes White link, the... Oh God, let me try this again. If I get the Black Luster Soldier link here, I'm just goaded forever. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. All right, I'm looking for Archfiend here. Nah. 
Sick. Wind Witch chimes. Awesome. Okay, I'm looking for nothing here. Oh, Rescue Cat would be good. We are kind of missing Rescue Cats. There's nothing in this pack. Epic. Okay, we're looking for... The Starry Night Dragons that you are! If I get the Levy here, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, literally nothing. This is like the first... I've never seen a pack that contains literally nothing. Not even like a hollow common. Uh, looking for spheres number two here. Oh, I have now seen it twice. No, Shadow Tune is at least a, a nice little foil. Wow, that was terrible. I'm never opening a pack again, chat. Right, change accessories. It's Thunder, so we need this one. Protector. We need this one. Dual field. We need this one. Field parts. We need the, these ones. We need that. Okay, what are my three main cards? You know what they gotta be, baby. Colossus. And... Titan. And... I don't know. Access code? The Chaos Creator. You still need to craft cards. What? No, I don't. Yes, I do. All right, here we go. All right, let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh. All that, all that pissing and pooping and pee pee and doo doo. We are pissing our lives away. Let's just play some Yu-Gi-Oh. No BLS link? Yeah, we're not playing the fucking BLS link. No, thank you. Gotta take a dump. Can you pause the stream? Yeah, you got it. <clears throat> All right. Well, that instant fusion is coming in hot. Ash this. Please ash this. Blind alert, you won't correct. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Maxi. This is a big brick. I mean, it's kind of a big brick. We still go Colossus. What? I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Harusume, thank you for the sub. I'm gonna banish a light in the dark. I mean, <clears throat> Kolo Sus Pass is pretty good. Phoenix Lights 13, thank you for the sub. I saw three ads and told Bezos, please make it stop. Oh, 
Oh my fucking god. Come on, man. Oh, lord. How does he out this? I think it is actually impossible. They tributed over a skill drain. That would have done it. <clears throat> Maybe they have a second skill drain. Dom Tom, come on. It can't take this long to set your hand. Point Dextra, thank you for the sub. What do you call a fake noodle? A sus impasta. It's Draco, they have 900 skill drains. Well, it's got to be exactly skill drain because they have an extra deck. That's interesting. <clears throat> I mean, we might as well go to combat, right? Why not? Hello. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Go into Titan, just like as a bigger guy. <clears throat> you can pop skill drain off Titan. How the fuck can I pop skill drain off Titan? Explain to me how I can pop skill drain off of Titan. I want to hear it. Just do it. They want to APOC, they can APOC. Okay. I'm glad it's taking them 30 seconds to do everything. I really appreciate that. It's an APOC. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, next turn. Next turn. We don't want to do it now because we could draw into something that could attack, right? APOC again at end of May? Jesus Christ. Why not set Maxi? Because when this goes to the graveyard, I get another one. That's 
exact lethal. It's a thousand off lethal. That is true. With the knowledge that it's a thousand off lethal, I'm probably saving the alert, right? No, there's nothing the card in hand could be other than another monster. We gotta do it. Please, God. I do not ask for much. I am begging you. Oh, please ash this. Okay, come on. Oh my fucking god. Oh my good god. That was so lucky. Oh my god. This is the Lord intervening on my behalf. We just TD fusion here, right? We make the big fusion in defense position. Uh, is duo any better? No. No, it's got to be TD fusion. Have we normaled this turn? We normaled matrix. That's a little rough. He doesn't have a hand trap. It's passing back to him to ask if he wants to activate the monsters that are under skill drain. Oh! Do I ash this? I feel like I do. Just trades for one. If they top deck demise, I will look the country fool. Essentially ashing upstart. That's fine. It's their last card. Uh, I'll save that for next turn so we can colo again. Okay, this is a good... We just need to whiff one draw step. There's so many bad draws in their deck. Any monster uh, return. Uh, any floodgate doesn't resolve this. That is a back row. Okay, let's uh, let's try it. I don't think you can imperm here. Well, the imperm is permanently off. Wow, that's an interesting one, actually. Uh, so we can go TD Fusion here. Apocalypse time? I If it's Apocalypse, I will be very mad, yes. Uh, we'll grab the Chaos Creator. <gasps> uh, Dragon Duo is pretty good. Just like a guy. That's got to be Hawk, right? Hawk effect. Special Dark. Colossus. Uh, duo here. Uh, we're going to use Dragon Dark to add fusion. And then, like, if it's Apocalypse, we will just sit on a, a second Titan. This deck is so sick. Fuck. All right, combat. Uh, let's go here first. Yes! Yes, Queen Slay! 
<clears throat> we are getting there. All right, we'll kill him next turn for sure. It's something you can activate in battle. I guess you could technically activate any of them in battle, but not activate the effect. Wins ring fit. I need you worn down for recording later. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god, we're playing some real heinous decks today. I think probably a one I will jump over to practicing for history. Is that something you all would watch, chat? We've got... So, I'll just give you a little bit of a huge spoiler for the next couple of episodes of history. They are not going to be normal episodes. And I don't want to spoil exactly what that means. Uh, these are the ones that are airing in like two or three weeks. I don't want to spoil exactly what that means, but at least for one of them, uh, we're going to be highlighting decks that were popular... Oh, maybe we should have saved Ash. Um, not in, like, the TCG, but on Dueling Network. Um, because Dueling Network had just come out. And that's one I have to uh, practice for. So I'm going to be practicing Synchro Plant today uh, on stream. Um, and a particular version of it called Pink Plant uh, that was by a Yugi tuber called Pink Something. And uh, it played Cherries and, like, Tuning Wear. Ruler format when? We're a ways off. We still have, like, three or four more. Um, the, the reason we're doing this is because, one, uh, there were a couple... It'll make more sense when we do the next one, too. But during this period... Oh, my God. They found desires. Um, during this period, uh, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! was a lot more than just the decks that were being played at tournaments. And um, we aim to show that off. And then... We're going to see. Pink Reaper, yeah. I don't have the brain capacity to play my deck this week. If you want to play the Synchro Plant one, I will play the other one. I don't I don't even want to say the name of the other deck because it's too it's too based. Okay, I mean they can tribute summon whatever they want. As long as they're not popping my monsters, I'm fine. Could you not called by that disciples? We should have! Wait, we should have! Oh, fuck, you're right. What a misplay. Oh, God. That was the easiest called by of my life. Oh, my God. See you in a bit. Sounds good. Fuck off, my guy. Holy shit. I'm going to have to kill every single card in the deck. We've drawn, like, seven cards this turn. Okay, so... You couldn't draw any monsters, by the way. It had to be all spell traps. That is an interesting one. <clears throat> okay, so it's got to be Apocalypse. Apocalypse is the only thing that does this. Uh, let's just fiend it out. Got anything? There it is. Sure. Just run Harpy's Feather Duster? Well, I'd have to draw it. <clears throat> hmm. If the apocalypse pop the fucking dynamite knight, that's fine for me. Unless they have a true king's return set, and even that's not that big of a deal. Oh, that's actually a huge deal. <clears throat> that would be essentially like infinite just like guys oh no they're popping the dynamite knight uh, okay I will gladly take this amount of damage just any free stuff oh they didn't damage so they don't take as much Uh, shit, I don't know. I 
think I like just passing here. <clears throat> now they flip the return. I mean, if they flip the return, we have the called by. They only have one guy in grave because they tucked the rest with disciples. <clears throat> hmm. Hawk effect would win this game if you can get to it. Hawk's in grave. Oh, okay. Off the top, you found a monster. Oh, cool. And it's the best one. Awesome. It's like the third time in a row that's happened. Epic. All right, so we're just going to go for the infinite here. God, this person has been top decking like a hero. Wait, he has an extra deck? Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, fuck you, dude. Come on. We are actually going to have to beat him through deck out. In fact, we should start planning for deck out now. So, how do we deck out this deck? <clears throat> we can't because they have disciples. Okay, that was a good that was a good question. Oh, they lost another guy. That's actually way worse for us cuz now that's a sick fucking rip. Wow, that's an incredible draw. Okay, so we'll go with Thundra Fusion first. Uh, we'll put back the Titan. We'll put back the Colossus. And we'll put back the Hawk. Spheres, spheres would be live in what capacity? What if I just go for it? Like I make duo and I just go for it. Uh, we go to combat here, I think. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> we might be getting out of this one. Okay. Um. Sure. So we're going to go roar here. Uh, so this is the infinite. <clears throat> is we can use Roar to endlessly cycle Thunder Dragon Fusion, which cycles us between the Titans, right? Uh, I'm deciding if I want to make Spheres here. So does Spheres do anything? Oh, yes, it does. Wow, does it ever. It's time for the FTK, folks. <clears throat> We don't have a third matrix. Funny. Okay. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this Yugi. Spheres is so good even without the summon. It's just Kieran. It's just Kieran.
Never surrender, folks. Never fucking surrender. Oh my god, we're saving that one for sure. Oh my god, that, that took 30 years off my life. Super poly. That's why they were playing the extra, was for a super poly package. Whew. Okay. This is the promo to gold three. Did you see the Casey's mod ARG stuff with like the pirate? Yeah. Literally all the metafusions of the extra for Super Poly, well, they're not playing the most important one, which is the one for Thunder Dragon. Oh! This hand's all right. God, off the top, you're kidding me. Uh, what are we adding? Jeez. I guess Hawk. We're just doing the Hawk setup here, right? Um, yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to get cute with myself, but it's better to just make Colossus. Now what? We have Sark, but I want to. The card I want to Sark is Thunder Dragon Dark. Is it even worth Sarking anything? We can Sark for Roar to go into a second Colossus, but we don't have that because it's limited. Um, I think we're just passing here. Like this is fine. I feel great about this. You can sark my balls. You're banned! <clears throat> Is there a reason for Colossus and the EMZ? Uh, I think it's aesthetically pleasing. It's absolutely not correct. The Master Duel account has tweeted. Red alert. The Master Duel account is tweeted. Now available. I'm so sorry, my friend. You, this is, you are, you are plussing me. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll get Roar here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'll, I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, let's, let's see what their deck was. You ready for the check deck? We'll save that one too. That was a really good one. Yep. Yep, this deck can't beat Colossus, you know? Oh my god, maybe it can. <laughs> oh, if they had drawn that, I would have I would have become the Joker. Sark for Roar. Roar summon Matrix. Verte. No, no, Matrix. Make okay, wait. Sark for Roar. Roar summon Matrix. A Matrix to make Verte. With what? With what normal? We summoned with Hawk. So the Dragon Dark and the Matrix for Verte. Yeah, you're right. That that was the play for sure. All right, I'm gonna take a piss real quick. 
Uh, the the issue is then we have Titan with no way to trigger Titan, right? That's still probably fine. Because if they do anything, we banish the dark, we go get a quick... No, Matrix is our quick. Robots. I'm gonna banish a light in the dark. Uh, I version fifteen ninety things and stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Running it back. R -r 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 running it back. This is a good hand, but has no hand traps, so we might be losing. <clears throat> blind Allure? It's not blind. We have Thunder Dragon Roar. It's this. I think that I can do this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do this one. That's, um... <laughs> that's decent. Oh, the, the second aloof lupine is, uh, is really good because now we can normal the lupine. I'll trigger the effect. Banish the roar. And then banish a dark as well. I love that it banishes for cost. Even if they ash this, it's like nothing. Oh, they can't ash it. They're going to maxi, but we have called by. Oh, dude, crazy. Oh, my God. Not, not maxi. All right. How do we want to do this? Um, definitely, we're banishing uh, Dragon Bark. Uh, we'll trigger Dark Seal 1, Roar Seal 2. Uh, I think Dragon Dark actually has to add... No, uh, Hawk is good enough. Roar can special... Ugh, Matrix is crusty because we have the other Matrix. Uh, we're still doing that. Dark here is going to grab... Oh, we could grab Fusion, but we haven't activated a hand effect. We would have to activate Matrix's effect in hand here. We can go into Colossus, uh, Titan, and then we don't have a way to trigger the Titan. Uh, we can go Dragon Duo. Dragon Duo here is kind of nice. We don't have a Light and a Dark, though. Uh, we can grab Thunder Dragon Hawk. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think it's Fusion. Because now we can go like 
Matrix. Matrix. Special. Colossus. Fusion. For Titan. And we'll put back uh, probably the Dark. I will go Allure. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, that's rough. That is unfortunate. We should have done that way earlier. I was just go to combat. So these aren't protected. That's unfortunate. If they have like a Regeki, this is really bad for us, actually. Wow. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Add ha Hawk from Dark, like always. I don't know. I don't think it really did anything there. Two more wins for gold, too. Oh, you just Verte for the fusion? Yeah, but what does that accomplish? I guess it gets guys in Grave, so that we beat the Lightning Storm. That's... Yeah, that's true. It ends up not mattering, though, because I'm based. And Red Pill, an epic. Uh, we're not playing some summer. Chat told me not to. Oh, this is a sick hand. Holy fuck. No maxi. Okay, how do we want to do this? Um, Dragon Matrix is probably the play. Yeah, for sure. We got to put in the third Matrix. I'm coping. Oh, we'll grab Hawk here. Go Hawk. Bring back whoever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I guess we probably want Dark in rotation a little more. Uh, we'll go Colossus. Oh, God. Grab this. Ruined? Ruined what? What's the ruined part? Make cross sheep? No. Uh, what if we get... Okay, so obviously we're supposed to get Black Dragon Collapse Serpent here. But what if we get Levian here? Just tuck a card? No, let's, let's get Collapse Serpent. And do what? Tuck a card! How is that not based? It's not based. You're right, chat. Chaos Creator Omega Lull. Yeah, I mean, I think the card is really cool. I have not yet summoned it or wanted to summon it.
Chaos Creator is so mad. Yeah, it's terrible, but I really like Chaos Creator. That's the reason I'm playing. Uh, no, hold up. <laughs> Let's uh, not misorder this, please. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted was the second maxi. Thank you. Is that Sphere's Pass? And now Link God Dragon. Exactly. No, now we're just going to make Verte. Make Verte if you are named King Scarlet, or if you also are not named King Scarlet. Uh, let's send back... Um, the Thunder Dragon, the Matrix, and the... Thunder Dragon. This makes our board maybe a little less resilient to stupid shit, but it's very epic. Alright, there we go. Thunder Dragon Titan, Thunder Dragon Colossus, Hieratic Seals. That was a sick hand. Extrav. All right, draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. Extrav. They're thinking. They are really thinking about this one. Hmm. 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 A lot of thinking for what's about to be set five pass. Hmm. That's literally what it is. Thanks, chat. You called it. We're going to start sniping that back row, by the way. Oh, yes. Chain Titan? banish the light in the dark. Maju set? Uh, that's fine. Flood Gate. That was easy. Let's see. What, what do you think that deck was, chat? What do you think that deck was? <laughs> I, I never would have guessed that in a million years. I never. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I would not have guessed that one. This hand's not good. Oh, Ash this. I'm oh my god, please card. fucking Ash Blossom this. Oh, I will lose my mind if you Ash Blossom this. Oh, fuck. Dr. Love 427, thank you for the sub. And we're in this position where we can't even call the maxi because the only way we get into this game is with the maxi. How hard is it to click Maxi? Is it difficult? Are they having a problem doing it? 
orange light. Okay, well, that is really good news for me, actually. Because I have a cold buy. That's the easiest cold buy of my entire life. All right, well, Drytron can't beat Colossus Pass, so I'm feeling decent about this one. Uh, let's bring it back. Captain says his list comes out Saturday. Okay. Chain green light. I mean, if they green light, they deserve it. You know what? I actually love this fucking deck. Getting getting wins like that one, I've decided that I love this deck. Bring back Sussy Amogus? What are you talking about? Yeah, I've seen the new solo mode gate. I'm ready to try my hand at Dark Spellions. Another great hand, but unfortunately we're going second. We just need our opponent not to be playing anything particularly real. Okay. Well, if they set two more, then we're fucked. Oh, good. They are just bricking. That's a decent draw. Let's go Thunder Dragon. We're going to do this twice before we allure. Don't want to draw more Thunder Dragons. Have you faced only role players? We've faced a lot of real decks, but we keep going first. <laughs> Oh, God, that's really hard. Wow, that's everything we could have wanted. It's going to be dark, I think. Wow, more allures. Deep draw thunder. Tell me about it, stud. Grab hawk here. I guess we do it again, right? Uh, we're gonna grab fusion here, I think. Um, set up for a fusion, rather. Uh, we want to play around Maxi a little bit. I don't know, are we going into Nightmare Phoenix or something? Go Nightmare Phoenix. Is Nightmare Phoenix plus Colo plus boosted Titan lethal? Yes, it is. Okay.
Oh, I'm fucked up. I need another normal. Do we have access code in here? We do. Oh, I don't need another normal. Yeah, we're fine. Um... We go. It's kind of poopy because the way the arrows work out. But it does do it. Could have done this with cross sheep as well. Uh, 26. I have to do math. Oh, we're actually 200 off lethal. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's so painful. Wait, that's so fucking frustrating. Cross sheep was lethal. It was, yeah. Whoops. Jane Titan. What the fuck? <laughs> it's the fucking Jocker. We're a hundred off lethal. Look at this. We're a hundred off. Oh, we can't use Matrix this turn anyway. We, we were never that close. This is fine. I mean, Maxi Pop. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. You can have Jockers Wild. It's a loner deck in the new story. Okay. What if they just tribute my board for fucking sphere mode or something? They're thinking. They're stinking. They're like, hmm, my Queen's Knight won't work here. What about my Jack's Knight? Will my Jack's Knight work here? What about my poker night. What about my penis night? What about my poopy night? What about my doo-doo caca night? Unfortunately, the doo-doo caca night is insufficient to win the game from this position. Um! It was Utopia? <laughs> uh... Mm. Can't 
let's say I disagree with that one. Because I literally don't understand it. Okay, well, now we have to go second. So we, we do lose. We tried. You know, we tried our best. The effect of Junk Converter is activated. No problem. I think we are always winning this one. Oh, the captain wants the video released later because he's going to play an event. I bet that's what it is. All right. Can you beat your old nemesis, Junk Synchron? A little card I like to call Max C. Now, notably, this deck can deck you out if you Max C them. It's like one of those Synchro Fusionist style decks. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. But that's an, it's never going to happen. We got a real game, boys. True, true, true. Any truers? Well, we're not going to get a game if they go immediately for Junk Speedo here. Okay, the game is now over. This motherfucker only got a rare Junk Speedo, not a royal like me. We chain blocked it too. He can't possibly ash blossom me. He has cross out. He's he's got cross out. Chad, he's got cross out. He's just gonna cross out the card. Chad, he's it's okay. He's gonna cross out. We'll get to see the poggers play. It's okay. He's got he's, he's got cross out. He's. <laughs> I don't know how we win this game though, right? Like, we're gonna have to draw something. We're gonna do this too right now. I don't fucking care. All right, so they can make Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon here, and if they do, I still probably lose. Top deck allure. Oh. I was watching yesterday's VOD, and, you know, I don't think Elden Ring won't be the game changer that makes normies interested in Souls because no matter what, it's hard and impenetrable, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is supposed to be the card game at the start of January, or decks that are, con or takes that are congruent with each other. I mean, I guess it depends on how you classify difficulty. Any card game is going to be impenetrable to a normie, right? You can't just dump someone into Magic the Gathering, especially not now. Yu-Gi-Oh is certainly harder than the rest of them. They're most of them. Okay, we are going to have to beat the big Negate Man. Is that why Flesh and Blood is doing well? It truly is. I've heard one too many, yeah, I started playing with commander stories. That's the problem. 
Anyone who started playing with Commander, I don't trust them. I don't want a diseased mind like that. Was that in hand? That's exceptionally funny. I mean, what do they do here? We make Hope Harbinger pass Omega? Yeah, dude. Go for it. <gasps> oh, if I hadn't activated it this turn. <laughs> Decent top deck. here oh this is kind of crusty oh no we'll have it yep we'll have enough we'll have exactly enough this guy is screaming and coming right now yeah so i don't understand they had a much better line where they could have like uh potentially accomplished something uh by uh, going for the i am going to negate the face-up activation of your card guy uh wh what's his name like big hot stinking man the big stinky farty poopy man <laughs> what is the name of that fucking card the big poopy farty shitty uh poopy crappy doo-doo man what is the fucking name of the card? i don't know the name archfiend abyss yeah and that's post chaotic ruler i understand wanting to make chaos ruler instead of just going uh crystal wing synchro dragon pass Uh, it's actually only okay. Yeah, it's only okay. A cross sheep here into... Oh, no. Oh, must first be special summoned. I can go cross sheep here into Colossus. Uh, bring back Dragonhawk. Well, that doesn't do anything either. I think we actually have to go for a very boring line. I don't think this deck can beat this setup, though. Make Verte. Real quality commentary coming from MBT today. Are you talking about the poopy, farty, sussy? <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, I got it. Um, I guess we might as well summon the Dragon Duo, right? This is, um... Very funny. It is exceptionally comedic to me. Are you bored? What do you mean? Why would I be bored? I'm always, I'm always excited to be winning. So we can't use Titan to pop here, which is kind of crappy, but uh, who cares? Uh, let's make the, the Titan dark. Why? Who the, who said that? Why? Why are you banned, buddy? Why? Why make the Titan dark? Oh my god. I swear, chat has no idea what they're talking. Why make the Titan dark? Can we actually unban that person? That was pretty mean. Plays around Super Poly. It does the opposite. Oh, 
Oh, Omega's coming back, right. Oh my god, Omega. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't get my guy back. He's gone. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay. I mean, Chaos Ruler's coming back. That's something, right? You know what's really funny about this? <laughs> I think it triggers duo. <laughs> Does it not trigger duo? No! Wait, why doesn't it trigger duo? It does. It's a new chain. Excellent. <laughs> Please fire Omega. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you to fire Omega, dude. <laughs> Is it undead vampire from back? Yeah, zombie vampire is not in this game. Is this a quick? No, it's not. I was gonna say, why is this guy still playing? I could, I could not. gonna make Dragoobleon? We actually do die to Dragoobleon. <laughs> what the fuck did they just discard? Reborn. <laughs> please, please, I'm begging you one time. No! <laughs> I just want a Matrix here. I mean, what does he think is going to change? We're negating Colossus. What would we even negate here? Titan? <laughs> None of them are good. Negating Duo. That's the best one, buddy. You found the most important part of my board. Okay. What are we getting back? Can we go Satellite Warrior onto this board? That does nothing. If he makes Bane. He's a big guy. For you. Oh, fuck. I can't Chaos Space in a Chaos Creator because it's already in the graveyard. If they make Final Sigma, I'm going to Coom. I mean, if they make Final Sigma, we don't have an out to it. Oh, no, wait, we have an out to everything. Playing closed world in this format is so good. You just get to have an out to everything. He really doesn't know. Oh... Why the Thundra no die? Why the Thundra no die? <laughs> oh, it's not even going to gain any attack. No, come on. <laughs> oh, this, this maybe they're new to the deck, you know? It's still gold. They're Maybe they're new to the deck. <laughs> All right, one more to get to gold tier one. Can we win the die roll? Nope. Titan only has card effect protection, right? Not battle? Yeah, so for some reason, uh, Colossus has battle and effect protection, and Titan only has uh, effect. Hmm. This is actually a pretty strange hand. 
Because I never want to discard the hawk. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, that's not good. Shotgun maxi. I could pass here. Yeah, whatever. My hand's ass. We're going to set a chaos space, too. <clears throat> I fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. It's so goddamn good. It's so good. <laughs> Decent. Mm. Io. Uh, okay, we're vanishing. Dark. Mm, no, we already have Hawk. Uh, we probably banish Roar. I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Uh, Tiggy Biggie, thank you for the subscription. Oh! Okay. It's some kind of control deck. Well, that is interesting. I'm still going for Hawk here. I don't want to just go to combat. Is it return of the hand? No, that's uh, Roar that does that. Just make Colossus. I'd like strike or something. Okay. It's time. Ash this. You won't. Pussy. Oh! <laughs> well, that did exactly what I needed it to do. <laughs> do you think I fire the other one? I feel like, I feel like it's probably wrong. Uh, go for it. We're going to go for it. I'm quite literally never punished. I just don't know what to tell you. I need to find a light or a dark monster, though, for the chaos space. Free maxi is true. The chaos space is a lot less good now that... No, it's still, it's still really Okay. What if I just hit him again? <laughs> good game, dude. That was a really good one, I think. <laughs> All right. All right, if we do three in a row, we'll, we'll keep going. Yeah, it was Trap Tricks. They just... Whoa, they were just playing 47 cards. Don't do that. I don't know what to tell you. Don't do that shit. Okay, we can make this work. Well. <laughs> uh. Huh. There's no way I, I max see this.
Do I still get to make Colossus? I don't. Okay, I'm in. Should have made Anima. Think how good Anima would be here. It would not be good at all. Or do I get to anyway? <laughs> because did you know there's material on Colossus? We are summoning it correctly, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Maxi, Ash, Fugited, Graveyard, Colossus on field, five card hand, go for it. Why thunder no die? In indeed. Now, unfortunately, we don't have like... Oh my god, we do we can we can protect it. If they ride Geki, we could Dragon Matrix and then use the replacement. <sighs> can resummon with Cross Sheep Pog? You never get to do this. A properly summoned Colossus. Oh, actually you can't. <laughs> It's got a restriction. And also, Cross Sheep has a restriction. <laughs> it's an okay draw. <laughs> okay. Fucking <laughs> go for it, dude. We just ash this. I feel like probably. Jets a machine. Oh fuck, you're right. I didn't even think about that. They already have a, a roared on. That's okay. What can they do with a roared on? <laughs> like, if they dump their whole hand into Dawn, they make an 8. They make an 8. We draw, like, 4 cards, and they can't out our board. Savage? I don't care. Or they just pass their turn, you know? Uh, how's our graveyard looking? Pretty, pretty poor. Interesting. They're thinking. Want to see something funny? <clears throat> Do you know that Cross Sheep doesn't actually care what type of monster you summon? It cares what type of monster it's pointing to. So the fusion effect will trigger here. We're just making access code. This isn't interesting at all. Uh, I guess we could make a format appo. Let's just make access code, right? Fuck it. Might be Nibiru. Yeah, it might be. We got lines for Nibiru. Don't worry.
Should have kept toggle on, baby. Sick. We didn't even have to activate the Thunder Fusion in Grave. It's crazy. Oh. What was that deck? We didn't really get to see. It was Synchron. They just... They're just a poopy, poopy deck. Poopy deck. They were on Auroradon. Why didn't they go for it? Black Garden. They were trying to fucking FTK me. How many more do I need? Two? Yeah. Penis Synchron. True! Any truers? Oh my god. Come on. Uh, this is a great hand, but, um, desperately needs a hand trap. Oh, come on. Dark is a hand trap. Well, we're going to be using him as one. What? There's no way. What? <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. That's the play, baby. I guess it is. Oh man. Okay. All right, we're still fine unless they fire off like a, the Ecclesia line. All right, sick. All right, we got to be one negate. Can we do it? Yeah, seems pretty likely. They have to negate this. There's no shot. Oh my god. What? No way. <laughs> they have to negate this. This is an easy negate. <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on here? <laughs> what? Uh... Oh, uh, uh, I'm just dumbfounded. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I guess we get duo, right? One, two, one. Yeah, let's fuck it. Fuck it. Let's get duo. They must have Nibiru or something. Dude, I'm gonna cry. Come on. <laughs> uh, I I just I just don't know. I just don't know. I could not tell you. Put him back. Who cares? Okay. Uh, Hawk will at least get the Macaba, right? Uh, 
how? I just... What? I'm like dumbfounded. What is going on? Am I getting punked? I guess I'll just make Colossus, right? Make Colossus run in. Well, I know that he has Alistair, so I'm not going to do that. I want to win the game this time. Yeah, dude. That was... Not so hot. Not so hot, dude. It was IDS. <laughs> oh, there's no D. It's it's IS. Oh no. Oh no no. <laughs> no 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 no. Can we go first? No. pretty good <laughs> um mm, this hand's only okay actually like it's a really good going second hand but we okay we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh here today let's go it's a really good going second hand but stuff has to kind of go right for us which is not a guarantee like if they have negation for this it's it's pretty bad okay Normal Lulu is a pretty weak hand, but, I mean, with VFD in the format, who really cares? Oh, wow! Look, they have the magical hats! Oh, these are so fucking tight. Oh, these are so tight. VFD incoming? So, I think we probably negate the Chinglong here. It, oh, decent, decent. No, we don't negate the. Ch Do we negate the Cheng Long? No, we probably negate the um. Oh, there is a Lulu in hand. Uh, I think we have to Ash this actually. That's going to make it hard for them, for sure. They can still do it if they have, yeah, another name. Wow, they drew every name. Holy shit. All right, we got to find Imperm, basically. We're going to get a lot of draws here. Allure is fine. So how does VFD work with cards in the graveyard? Cards in the graveyard that are not that typing can still activate their effects, right? Because if so, we can do it just by, like, making Titan and passing. Croc. Wow, they're going for the long combo. Can we draw a monster, please? <clears throat> so this still isn't enough for VFD. That'll do it. They drew it off the top. Wow, they went for all four names under VFD. That's just, like, crazy. It's a then, right? So I'm going to get two off this. He calls dark if you go for a lure or Sark. That's fine. Wow. I just need to activate a hand effect to be able to unlock this hand. Shen Shen here. This is kind of crusty, like you're just leaving a six on board. What is going on? 11 cards deep. I'm literally going to Sark for a uh, Hawk. What? I 
I've drawn all three Maxi, all three Chaos Base. I just want any name, any fucking... I will take anything. That is insufficient. Uh, it works, though. We'll, we'll make it work. Okay. Send from the field to the graveyard is banished instead. Levy's interesting. True king of all calamities. What are we calling here? Calling light? Yeah. That's a big deal. be a lure here. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Wow. That's like legitimately exactly what I wanted to see. That's so good. Oh, I can't activate it. It's actually very bad. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Sark here. Banish, Dark, wherever he is. Trigger Dark. <clears throat> we have to grab Roar here. Dark adding back or one guy off. Are we? We have to add back Dragon Dark here. Uh, IF. Maxi. this can't believe how bad our maxi draws were quite bad how do we go titan here uh and we can banish the Thunder Dragon? <clears throat> Can you Verte to make Titan a Dark to run over VFD? No. <laughs> um... Go TD Fusion. Uh, let's Chaos Space here. We're going to pitch the Levy. Grab white. <clears throat> oh, chaos space is banished. Fuck. Oh, that is that's rough. Hmm. What if I just make white to make white? We can go white normal maxi to go into yeah, let's do this. Then if we want, we can TD Fusion. 
into Colossus, which we can do. Yeah, we'll do that. We can't spheres, no. This is hard. Okay. Uh, this is just going to have to be enough. What does he do after you pop his VFD? I don't know. We're going to find out. Max, you should do it. It's under called by. This deck played the best through VFD Shenshen I've seen so far. It helped that I had a 16 card hand. Is it worse for you if he calls light or dark? I don't know. Light here? So I chain dark, and then I chain Titan. What am I doing with Titan? I'm popping Shen Shen? There's no way, right? Chain. We just eat the VFD, right? That's so crappy. It's really poopy. Oh, do they have something to chain here? Oh, that's atrocious if they do. Oh, they can actually... Uh, Okay. Figured out. Okay. Uh, what do we want to eat here? I think I like popping Shen Shen because otherwise we might win by Colossus. Colossus. Colossus still activates. Let's just pop the Calamities. It's like not very pretty at all. So like the interesting part about this is that the Colossus does really fuck up their plays. Right? Colossus prevents them from going Qinglong or Lulu. That's rough. Pop VFD and IP to Unicorn Bound Shen Shen. I'd love to Unicorn Bound Shen Shen. That is not how it works. Unicorn activates in a new chain. And by that time, VFD will prevent it from happening. VFD is one-sided, yeah. Fan, fan. Ugh, oh, fan, fan is so abysmal for us. That's so strong. Oh, yeah. It's a really miserable maxi, I gotta tell you. Halfway through our deck, we couldn't find an imperm. Man, 
Wow, is that the third Lulu or was it added off to GC? Must have been ZC. We're getting Chuche here. We can beat Chuche. Depends on what that last card in hand is. Whatever it is, they're pitching it for the Cheng Long. <clears throat> oh wow, we're losing the oh, are we dying here? Oh that's that's not good. Lily, Lily ZC. Oh my God, we're just like fucking toast. I guess it's arguable. I don't know what they really go for here. That's good. Enter Blanier is not terrible. They do have to kill me here because I will kill them on the crackback. Forty-four hundred with Sigma. They're not making Sigma. They're gonna play good cards. Okay, I mean that's the that's the hand. You make charge warrior here and then turn on the Zhuanwu and Grave. No, uh, popping Shenshen doesn't accomplish anything. Wow! Holy fuck! We are really making these. Oh, you're fucking with me. It's a send. Okay, nothing I can do about that. All right, this is lethal, right? 28 plus 26 plus 24 minus eight. It's 52, 70. Eight minus eight is literally lethal. Yeah, they'd have to fuck up here. Which they didn't. Oh man, that is that's a rough one. I feel like we were never supposed to lose that game. Like we drew, we drew seven cards off of Maxi and lost. That just like doesn't happen. But I found a way, I found a way. The maxi draws were max, max, chaos space, chaos space, chaos space, the target for chaos space. They're pretty good. It's a good hand um, if we're going first. Uh, going second, it's uh, kind of sussy. A little sussy baka. If our opponent's on, like, Drytron or something, we just lose. Or this. Snore. Okay. Yeah, keep going, dude. It's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, <clears throat> we need like a dark guy. Mm, that's perfect. That'll do it, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'd agree with that, JRR2. 
Most of the cards that are at one are just sacky things that you feel awful losing to. Well, now what are we going to do? I didn't think we'd get this far. Uh, can we start chewing away at the back row? Maybe we make, like, normal Loof Lupine and start going into, like, Nightmare Phoenix? It depends on what they flip here. Can I see a skill drain? Militia should be at one. I agree. I agree. Um, what if we just make a big-ass titan? Huh? How does that sound, chat? We just make a big-ass titan. Skill draining this is good, for sure. So I, I don't think they'd pass it up. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, shit. I didn't expect that. Um... We're going to go get a Thunder Dragon here. All right, let's go into Verte Anaconda. Going to Cross Sheep, that'd be fine. Yeah, Cross Sheep. They're thinking, I must stop the Cross Sheep. Instant Fusion. Meta sheep SMH. True. Any truer is in chat. Cross sheep is a rare chat. Torrential me here, buddy. All right. Oh, I can do this now? Why? What? I didn't think I'd activated a hand effect. Oh, this one doesn't give a shit. All right, watch this. <clears throat> Strike this or something, or it's it's about to get real ugly. Now they're thinking. According to my calculations. Okay, cool. Uh, Tidra. Chain Titan? You better start flipping, buddy. This better be a skill drain. Conquistador. It's Eldlich. White. White. From hand. No skill drain. Okay. Pop it. Cross sheep. Not a question. Anytime. 
time, buckaroo. Oh, no, come on. I've got four engraved. Dog, please. Whoa, that was way wrong. What? I'll take it. Give me back my monster. Eldritch players, man. Chain Titan. Another conk. <clears throat> Wham. Bam. Ho ho! Is it Chaos Creator time? It actually is. It is legitimately time for the chaos. No, it's fucking Thunder Dragon Duo time. Why was it not Levy in Ear time? Uh, this, we already have an out for this. Okay, just in case, we're going to spin the outlet. Just in case. How do you go from uh, set four to only two monsters on the field? I don't know. Uh, they're about to go to no monsters on the field, though. All right, inshallah, no Nibiru. This would be the greatest Nibiru bait of all time. When your opponent is literally maxi gaming, should have drawn maxi. I don't know what to tell you. All right. I'm not playing around Gores. Oh, man. Titan is such a good card. It's just so strong. <laughs> Did you chain block the effect that can't be responded to? No, I chain blocked the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. God, you all are just so excited for me to misplay. Don't worry, you'll get your chance. Let me go first, please. Fucking Christ, man. We've lost, like, the last four of these. <sighs> Time to start playing Mosquito. True. Another hand that could end up really good or could end up really bad. Uh, leaning towards really bad. All right, this is an easy uh, Ash Blossom, at least. If they have the invocation, we'll cycle the maxi. It's not the worst thing in the world. Come on. What can I say? When you're good, you're good. No shot, you ash this. This is one card I'm getting.
We've got some, like, really good draws. Like, uh, any of the dark thunder dragons are really good. I think that's pretty much it, though. Royal Macaba. Oh, please don't let me lose to fucking Invoked in my rank up. Alright. Come on, one of the 15 good draws in my deck, please. Wow. Uh, holy shit. Those are two good ones. Um, go for Roar here. Uh, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Roar. Uh, I'm gonna go for Dark here. I'm gonna grab Hawk. Uh, they always Macabre this. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Alright. It should all. Well, if that set card is Schism, we have a problem. Something chainable. What are we getting off dark? It's always Hawk, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go for the Lupine here. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, what do we want a special? I really give a shit about any of these. I'm putting them on infinite impermanence. Should have made Invocation a quick play. Uh, kind of glad they didn't. No Cross Sheep, SMH. Uh, yeah, the Cross Sheep line just gets me here, but I have to go through more steps. I'll put the Banished ones away. Um, and the Matrix maybe comes up, too. Okay, uh, let's go for it. It is Resh Shadal Incarnation. Hmm. 
Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll still go for it. This is less ideal than I would have liked. Like, they have some pretty live draws here. Ariel. Oh my god, that's abysmal for us. They can turn off the protection on Colossus. I mean, actually, no, they can. And we'll come back next turn. Because I can Matrix to protect it. It just means we have to choose between either keeping the Colossus, if they have something like a, a Raigeki, or triggering the Titan. I think, the, I think this deck just probably cannot beat Colossus, though. Like, the hand right now is at least Alistair. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Sorry. Not with Kahlo on board. They have to have drawn the invocation a second time. Holy fuck a moly! Oh my god! Ah, oh, that's really bad news. That's that's awful. Oh, never mind, it's fine. What are they going fucking mud dragon here? Agedes? Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just, um... <clears throat> let's do this, please. Alright, we're fine. Cool. We don't have battle protection, but we do have the matrix, so we're fine. I was like, what's their chainable? It's Reshadal Incarnation, which accomplishes the same thing. Alright. Bye-bye. Oh. Alright, we got out of this one. Ooh, nice one. I think we actually have to just do this again. It's lethal, so I will be doing that. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, we made it to plat. Easy. Simple. Clean. The fact that you could just Verte again is hilarious. It is quite funny. All right, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for stopping by. I'm sorry we played Yu-Gi-Oh! all day on Variety Thursday, but uh, this didn't really feel like we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> um, if you like what we see, exclamation mark socials in the chat, you can get a link to... My uh, YouTube where I make funny Yu-Gi-Oh! Hahas. There's going to be a video on this going up shortly. My uh, Twitter uh, where I uh, write funny Yu-Gi-Oh! Hahas. Uh, my Discord where I'll get together and plan funny Yu-Gi-Oh! Hahas. And of course, my fucking, you know, Patreon where you can get advanced entry to my tournaments. Bye. That's it. Bye. That's all I got to say. Bye bye. I'm going to throw you over to Coder. Bye bye. Wee. Bye bye. Wee. Hoo. Hee. Wee. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing?